Good morning and welcome to ScreenWorks Digital Screen Forum. You, you have no idea how hard it was convincing my mother and father that yes, this, this is going somewhere, this, this is a career, this will, this will turn into something. Looks a lot like playing with computers to me, son, but, um, but anyway. When we started out, we had, um, there's a program called the NICE program. Pretty much what that allowed us to do was to, you know, fund ourselves for a year. Social gaming is huge. Uh, currently, there's over one billion active um, users playing social games, which is, which is massive. For people who are into making content, games, movies, all that sort of thing, uh, what it's about is what social media is important for, is marketing. So half a million dollars a day. So that's what they're, they're making, which is not bad. The feedback from the industry was it's actually at the concept stage, at the early development stage, where people find it the hardest to be able to get support. I think it makes me feel that a lot of these people are much more approachable than I originally had envisioned. You know, I thought it was all closed doors. Um, if, you've got, if you've got a game or an IP that you own, people come to you. You don't have to go looking for work. Um, and, and it just opens up so many opportunities. Um, and it's such a great position to be in. Just in, this, in that idea where they're coming up with the original IP, i.e. Happy Feet, but at the same, like concurrently, they're making the film, but they're also making the game at the same time. And now he's got, got really, really good games developers in-house so that he's got control of his assets. Having uh, patriarchs like George Miller and, and Doug Mitchell is uh, uh, extraordinary because they will always look at sort of um, this one little line that they have uh, which is basically if you get an opening let a friend in. You know the advent of digital distribution and things like the App Store, iTunes, uh, Xbox Live Arcade. What that meant was for the first time we could make a game ourselves and we could actually get it out you know to you and, and, and anyone who was interested in buying it. Prior to that, we had to go through a publisher. Our visual effects, VFX um, attachment scheme is one of the things that I'm most proud of. It's given me more of an insight into the technology and what's, what's, what you're capable of within the technology in terms of storytelling. As I work for a company and we do stories through theatre and through books and we're looking at doing storytelling for kids in an iPad kind of, and, and those kinds of platforms, and so my interest really is in what's possible with the technology and making connection with, with people who actually do the hands-on work. Last week, social networking overtook porn as the number one activity on the internet. Crowdsourcing um, is usually applied to content where you have user-generated content or material that's sourced from your audience or from the internet at large. Crowdfunding is like crowdsourcing except with money and that can be quite useful for independent producers. This is brand new, hot off the press, and it's still a work in progress. We're still working out how this is going to operate. But let me just paint the picture for you quickly on this one. The digital economy strategy actually covers um, information and communication technology initiatives generally, but there's also a digital media initiative with funding of 1.5 million per year for three years. And as you can see, it's got a focus on the development of interactive content, especially games. Um, it recognises that creative digital content, particularly in the lucrative area of electronic games, involves intensive R&D and risk capital. Because that's where some of the you know, best new ideas sort of come from, just wacky concepts that you think could never work, you do it, you put it out there and bang, you know, it becomes the next hit. Uh, you know, who would have thought slicing fruit with your finger could have been such, a <laughs> such an awesome experience? I'm very proud to see that not only recognised on a national scale, but on an international scale, we have some projects that have gone all around the world in traditional media, as well as actually picking up some fantastic awards for the International Digital Emmys. So to inspire you, we are some of the best in the world and we can continue to be so. For me as an emerging digital producer, these kind of events are just great to get insight into what is available, and also the avenues that uh, can be approached that you wouldn't think to go down, um, funding especially, to hear Tanya talk about um, some of the visual effects startup funds and attachment programs. It's been really helpful and uh, also just links to different sites. Everyone has been uh, very giving in their information. It's, it's been a great event. So it's really inspiring. It's fantastic. I can do it.